I know a lot of people out in the communities really don't feel they have a really good connection with schools and that is one of the biggest things that has to change within every single school district because communities are the ones who build schools. Um, communities can are able to offer so much for schools but nobody real, really realizes that because everybody is so used to it's all the school's fault so they all blame the school district but um, one of the best ways to improve schools is to get communities involved. Um, communities can assist not only the students that are in these schools, but the parents as well. Um, a lot of communities are, are able to offer programs that will benefit these kids. These programs can include uh, free books. Um, the, these children are able to go out into the community and they're able to get books and take them home and read with their parents and then this just builds um, a stronger bond between the parents, the school, and the community which is the end goal of the, or should be the end goal for every single school. Um, this kind of goes to like about the research um, that Jen did. She, she did research about how business can biz, sorry businesses can support local schools. Um, she, she mentions a researcher named Homer, and they say that businesses can be part of making donations of any kind, whether this is money or equipment or anything that they can think of, volunteer hours, anything counts. Um, but I know that a lot of, a lot of you may be like, well, communities don't have an impact in school, but they they should and um, communities are the ones who are able to donate this money and this other volunteer hours and equipment to the schools to ben better benefit these students and the parents because a lot of parents can't afford afford any of the materials that they need in school so I know um, O'Brien states that a lot of communities um, go around and they ask for um, local stores to like help donate to the schools and these these places donate like notebooks and pencils and erasers and certain materials that um, schools would need or not schools but like students and this helps the parents out immensely because a lot of parents can't afford this stuff so um, when it is gifted to their student they're very grateful and they're willing to put in the effort to help their student learn. Um, also, there I know there's like free lunch programs, reduced lunches, and breakfast. Um, this also helps the parents who really can't afford to feed their kids and it still gives them, um, it still gives them the feeling that their child is being watched over and they don't feel as bad because the community is willing to help their children and this just builds a strong relationship between all three spheres which really needs to be um, emphasized in in every school there is and overall um, once everybody realizes how much the community can assist the parents and the students the students will receive a much better education they'll be able to go farther in their lives thank you